So the last one we're going to talk about today is simple interest. Okay, so with simple interest, you need to think of four things that are involved with simple interest. We have the principal, and not the principal of the school like Mr. Mr. Stahl. This is the amount of money that's invested. Then we have the rate, which is the interest rate. And then we have the time, how long the money is invested. And that has to be measured in years. And then the last is the interest, which is the money you will receive Oops, spelt that wrong. The money you will receive from the investment. So if you want to, if you have a thousand dollars and you want to invest it, so you go to the bank and you look into a program where you can invest your thousand dollars. They're going to give you an interest rate that you can earn on that vested money. And if you leave it in there for how long? So if you leave it in there for five years and you want to know how much interest you're actually going to make on that money for five years. All right, so let's try this. We have a principal of $34,000. We have the rate of 4%. And we have the time, which is going to be three years. And we want to know what is the interest. We need to find the interest. So we're still going to use our proportion and this time we're going to put interest over principal. Okay, so the interest is part of the whole and the whole is the principal. And then we always keep our percent ratio the same. And I'll show you how the time fits in when we find our, our answer. So we're looking for the interest. We know that our principal is 34000 We know that our rate is 4%. Now I told you, we'll look at the years later. Right now, all you use is the interest, the principal, and the rate. All right, so I can multiply going in this direction by 341. I can do the same in this direction, also multiply. Oops, did I, sorry guys, it was 34,100, 34,100. And then that would be times 341. So four times 341 is equal to $1,364. So that is going to be the interest. But here is where you have to take into consideration the years. So every year you're going to make the same amount of money on your investment. That's what simple interest is. So now I have to take that $1,364 and multiply it by 3. These are the years. Okay, you invested it for three years. So you need to take and multiply that by three. And that's going to be 4,092. So your original principal was 35,100. And your interest is going to be $4,092. So what would be the total? That would be $38,192. So if you pulled that money out, you would make that kind of cash. Okay. All right, let's try another one. All right, the principal is going to be 6300 
the rate is going to be six and a half percent. The time is going to be seven years and we are looking for the amount of interest. So we know our rate, and we know that we have our looking for the interest, and we know our principal is 6,300, and we know that our rate is 6.5%. I know that I can go from 100 to 6,300 by multiplying by 63, and I know I can multiply my 6.5 by 63. So therefore my N, which is my interest, is going to be $409.50. That's just for one year. So I need to take that $409.50 and multiply it by seven. Remember, this is the years. So that would be zero, five, six, Six, eight, and two, and I have two decimal places, so I would end up putting it right here. So the interest is going to be two thousand eight hundred sixty-six dollars and fifty cents. Now, how much will you have after seven years? So, how much money will you have after seven years? I take my original principal which was $6,300, and I'm going to add my interest, which was $2,866.50. And remember that you need to put the decimal point on with zeros. We can't have nothing up there. We have to be able to add it to something. When we add this up, we're going to get $9,166.50. So your total amount is going to be $9,166.50. Now, there is another quick way to do this if you chose to use this for simple interest. Instead of using the um, formula, instead of using our, our proportion, you can actually use this formula. So this could be another way if you choose to. That would be interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. Now you have to remember that the rate must be written as a decimal. All right, so if I said the principal, we'll do the same one we did in the front page. The principal is 34,100. The um, rate is going to be 4%, and the time is three years. And we're looking for the um, interest. Remember here, 4%, you need to write that as 0 0.04. You have to write it as a decimal in order to use this formula. So I would take interest is equal to the principal, which is 34,100, times the rate, which is 4%, times the time, which is three years. When you multiply that all out, you are going to get $4,092, which is what we got on the front page. And again, you would take your principal, which is 34,100, and add your interest, which was $4,092. Maybe $38,192.